go into heavy water. So you remember from the Batman film, this was where the, the penguin accidentally knocked the switch over. So instead of having drinking water, he ended up with heavy water. Now what on earth is heavy water? Well, I have here three identical flasks. One of these is just an empty flask, and I'm going to set the balance to zero for this. And in this flask, identical flask, with 100 milliliters of water, okay, so we've taken into account the weight of the flask, but we see that 100 milliliters of water weighs, well, it's just about 100 grams. Okay, that's the density of, of water is one gram per centimeter cubed or per milliliter. Now here I have some heavy water, and it's exactly the same amount, it's 100 mils, 100 milliliters of water, and this weighs 110 grams. Okay, so this is heavy water. Now what exactly is heavy water? Well in order to understand this, we need to look right into the heart of a hydrogen atom. So remember that water is made up of one oxygen and two hydrogen atoms, but we need to look inside this to see what a hydrogen atom actually looks like. What is it like? Well, if we looked inside, we would see uh, the atom itself, the hydrogen atom. This is a normal hydrogen atom. There's an electron that whizzes round. Okay, this is whizzing round all over the place. This is negatively charged. And then in the centre of the atom, in the nucleus, where all the, the weight of the uh, hydrogen atom is, there's a proton. Okay? And that's what gives the hydrogen atom its, its weight. Well, a heavy hydrogen atom is a different type of hydrogen. It still has the same chemical properties, pretty much, as normal hydrogen. But this one still has one electron, still has one proton, and that's the thing that makes it a hydrogen atom. But this time, it has a neutron as well. And the neutron has about the same mass as the proton, and this means that the mass of the hydrogen atom now, the heavy hydrogen, is actually twice that of a normal one. Well, remember, the water here is made up of two hydrogens and one oxygen. The oxygen hasn't changed, and so just replacing the normal hydrogens with these heavy hydrogens, sometimes called deuterium atoms, it means that the, the heavy water now, rather than weighing 100 grams, weighs 110. And this is actually rather interesting, 